We are taking a look at the different options available for the virtual receptionist on a Zoom Rooms kiosk. This is my kiosk that we're looking at here in the Zoom web portal. When we go to the kiosk tab, we have the option to choose the different applications we like on our kiosk. Today, we're just going to focus on the receptionist piece. And when I click on the receptionist button, I have the ability to configure up to six buttons that can be routing to different destinations. Now there's four primary uh, types of calls that can be made from a virtual receptionist. We'll start with our basic one. And that's where you can select from one to four users or rooms from your Zoom account. That can be added here in the contact field. And when someone presses that button, we will call one of the four. There's no logic or control that you have to decide where that call goes. In the back end, we look at who is on mobile versus desktop, who's in a meeting or not in a meeting, and we try to identify who's the most available and send the call there, but it's a one and done. It doesn't roll over to the next user. It's a one call attempt where we will choose one of these four to do. As I mentioned, the first one is gonna to try to call one of those users I had listed there. It's gonna initiate a video first call. The next option, is available if you have Zoom phone in your Zoom account. And this is the option to choose Zoom phone and select a call queue. Queues are a collection of users that can all be rung at once, can be set up for different call flow options like sequential, round robin, simultaneous. So you can put more users into a queue that have the chance to receive this call. And you can also have it continue to roll on to the next person depending upon how you've configured your call cues. Now this is a audio only call coming out of the Zoom Room kiosk. However, because your Zoom phone users that are in these queues need to be signed into Zoom phone on their mobile device or their desktop, when they answer that audio call, they can then elevate to a video experience. Please wait while we connect your call. It's initiating a, an audio first call, and there you can see it's calling me on my Zoom phone where I'm signed in. I'm going to ahead and hang that up. I'm not going to answer it. The third option we have also requires Zoom phone on your account, and this is the ability to just have an outbound PSTN only call. Think of this like your after hours emergency pager type situation. PSTN out dial. This is just dialing a phone number. And I see that call coming in on my mobile device. I could answer it. I'm going to decline it. The one that gives you the most control in the call routing is our integration with Zoom Contact Center. This requires additional licensing for Contact Center and specifically agent licensing for the users that will receive these calls. From the Zoom Room side, what we are doing is selecting a flow from the Contact Center we look at flows, there's lots of ways to build these. They can be very complicated or very simple, but the simple demo we have here today shows that when I press that button, the user will be presented with some options. From there, they can choose what they need or want. And based upon their selection, it'll then go somewhere else in the flow. For example, if I press the bar or kitchen button, that will route to a queue of agents in my food and beverage team. And because it's a queue, I can set up rules on that queue, such as round robin, sequential, simultaneous. So I could be ringing multiple people at once. I could be doing one, then trying to move on to the next. I can create overflow rules, such as recorded messages or possibly voicemails. And this is, uh, goes out as a video first call. As we continue back to the beginning, if I had chose sales instead, it would go to a different queue of agents. So I have different users that are part of my sales queue. That could be receiving that call. And then if we look at my guest services button, there we're collecting another uh, bit of data from the users. You press guest services, now what do you want? The valet, billing, AV services. And these then can route to additional agents. In this case, all three of those buttons go to the same queue. They could route to different teams of agents. Now I've said agents a few times. So when using contact center, your agents must be signed into the contact center in their Zoom desktop client. That's the only place this is available today. So if you have Zoom contact center, you assign the contact center license to your agents, 
And you can see here, I have multiple queues that I'm a member of, and I can sign in and out of any given queue at any time, even put myself in a not ready status. So what we're doing is we're routing a call to these specific queues for all the people that are in the queue, for those that are online or ready, and then we would ring them in a video first situation. If we jump back here to the portal one more time, we'll take a look at a queue on the contact center side. And we'll use our guest services queue as an example. When we look at the queue, you can see you have options on how that is routed. Simultaneous, I'm going to ring all available agents at once, rotating, sequential, et cetera. So you've got some control on how those calls are routed. So on overflow, I can play a message and then disconnect. I could route to a different queue or back to a different flow. And then if we jump back one step, we can see the members of this queue. So in this case, there's actually two people in this queue at this time. So when that button is pressed, and because I had it set to simultaneous, we're going to attempt to call Dan and Gary at the exact same time. And the first person to answer that call will be connected with the Zoom room kiosk. For example, if I choose that guest services, I get more options, the valet, and now it's starting a video call. And one of my agents who's in that queue will receive this call if they're available and online. Notice I'm not ready. I'm in the offline mode, which is why I didn't receive that call. Now that I'm ready, I see that call coming in. That is the contact center options from the call queue. Thank you for an awesome demo, Dan. Here is a kiosk, very stiff and hardware options. This is our main lobby. Users come through our doors. Not only can they engage with some of these other features and options, they can reach out directly with their receptions. In this case, we just have the basic Zoom room virtual receptionist as an option. On the back end, whoever we have set in the portal to answer this call will answer and direct accordingly. Thank you so much for watching and give Zoom Spaces, Zoom Workspaces a shot. Thank you and have a great day.